Yes, from the National Audubon Society. And I love birds and science! Well, and this, gets, this really gets to the issue of uncertainty, because so often the critics will say, there's uncertainty in the science, so why should we act? Well, in reality, uncertainty cuts both ways, and in many respects, uncertainty has been cutting against us. As we learn more, and as we see more, we're finding that the ice is melting faster than we thought it would, that we're seeing increases in extreme weather events that we didn't expect. Um, Uncertainty is actually a reason for even more concerted action, and some of the most conservative economists who study this problem will tell you that. They'll tell you that acting on uh, the problem of climate change is a planetary insurance policy, and we would be crazy not to be taking it. There's a tipping point that I ho hope we do cross, and today's event is part of that, a tipping point in the public consciousness, um, a recognition that we really have a problem that we have to work uh, together in earnest um, and in good faith to solve. Um, when it comes to the climate tipping points, uh, the reality is there are many, and we don't know exactly where they lie. They're sort of like, um, you know, mines in a minefield. Um, you, 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 you proceed into the minefield at your, you know, at, 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 your, at your peril, and that's what we're doing right now, headlong, as we continue to warm the planet. Um, there are certain tipping points we've probably already crossed. We've probably warmed the planet enough to lock in uh, a fairly large amount of melting of the West Antarctic ice sheet. Uh, that could give us between 10 and 14 feet of global sea level rise. Enough sea level rise to impact all of the major coastal cities and island nations of the world. That may now be locked in. There may be nothing we can do about that. If we're lucky, it will take centuries to play out and if we can slow down the rate of warming, we can, we, if we can mitigate the problem now, we might buy enough time to adapt to those changes. But the fact is, there are other tipping points we probably have not yet crossed, but we may very well cross soon if we continue on this path. And that's why it's so urgent to bring our emissions down dramatically in the years ahead. Uh, the good news is that um, the Paris Agreement, uh, passed a, a year ago, um, really uh, was a major accomplishment bringing together the nations of the world um, uh, in a commitment to make actionable uh, cuts in carbon emissions that don't get us all the way to where we need to be, but get us about halfway there. It gets us on the right path, something to build on, and we have to continue with that progress. We can't turn uh, our, our backs on, on this now. You know, sometimes we, we look at uh, bureaucracy and governmental inertia as a bad thing, but sometimes it's a good thing. Um, there's enough inertia in the system that, you know, when you talk to policy experts, they'll tell you, we can probably withstand uh, one term, uh, one presidential term with uh, Donald Trump. Um, Trump working, working together with congressional Republicans um, on an agenda of defunding science and an agenda of uh, you know, doubling down on our reliance on fossil fuels, that's going to do some damage. Um, but uh, there's a good chance that the damage won't be permanent um, if we can sort of weather this storm, if the storm isn't uh, too long last. If we get too uh, Trump administrations back to back um, with uh, congressional uh, Republican control uh, of Congress, um, that might create um, a, a real hole for us to get ourselves out of. Um, but you know, there's an election less than two years from now that will determine the you know the the leadership of Congress, and there's an opportunity um, for voters to take us on a different path. Mm -hmm.